Log into FMB and click on the Stock Management tab. For PTP orders, there will either be a tick or cross next to the supplier's name. A confirmation green tick indicates that all products have been confirmed as available. A red cross means that some or all products have been confirmed as unavailable. Find the pending delivery. You will be able to see if an invoice has matched the delivery as the invoice reference will be visible after the purchase order price. In this pending delivery you can see that the matching invoice number has already been entered and any discrepancies in value will appear within the status field. Clicking on the invoice tab will show you the details of the invoice. You can then compare the values and quantities of the invoice against the purchase order. The status in this example is pending which means that the invoice and purchase order match. You can now enter the delivery number and approve the purchase order into stock. Once approved you can also mark for export. In the next pending order you can see the invoice has again matched but this time there has been a £3 overcharge. Any products which have price discrepancies between the purchase order and invoice will be highlighted in orange. If you click on the invoice tab we can see the pineapples are being invoiced at £1.50 when the original purchase order price was £1.20. In order to match the purchase order to the invoice we need to click back onto the product detail tab and click add. Find the invoice adjustment and add the value of the overcharge. Remember invoice adjustments are always set up as a pound so adding a quantity of three will add three pound value into the purchase order. Click next and the status will change to say pending. The delivery number can be entered and the order approved into stock. After approving the system will ask whether a credit should be raised for the amount of the adjustment. Click OK if it is an overcharge and the system will then ask if you would like to approve the supplier return. Select OK to approve and you will now see the supplier return in the associated documents. If you click onto the reference you can view details of the supplier return that the system has just created. You can then mark the invoice for export. The next pending delivery is again an overcharge. If we follow the same procedure as before and view the invoice tab to see details of the overcharge. In this example the invoice is for four catering mushrooms where only one has been ordered. If you only receive one then you still need to match the delivery to the invoice. Return back to the product detail tab and click edit. You can then amend the quantity of the catering mushrooms to four and click save. If you enter the delivery number and approve the system will ask if a supply return is required. By clicking OK you can then create the return in the associated documents section. The system will not automatically create the supplier return for differences in quantities. Click on create return and then enter the quantity of the products that you did not receive. Click next and then enter the supplier reference number and approve the return. Unlike invoices credit notes sent in from the supplier do not automatically match. On the stock management page click on credit note reconciliation. Change the status to approved and show to non reconcile and hit search. Find the supplier return and click on the effective date. Click on the match button and find the credit. The PO number and value will help match against the correct supplier return. Click on the effective date to match the credit with the supplier return. The credit note number will be automatically entered and the status will say approved. You can then mark the credit for export.